Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Boss Coin YouTube channel. Today's gonna be a fun video. Basically, it all comes down to mining profitability, how to make more money with your mining operation. Today, it's gonna be centered around mining with CPUs, but GPUs are also gonna be a uh, main feature of mining in today's video. So, this is all about following a project, right? So they are forking, they're changing their mining algorithm. This is all about being on the forefront of that, being the first miners available there. A new feature is going to make the block reward huge on certain blocks with this coin, which I mean, it's in the title Varus. So I'm gonna explain exactly what, what's going on with that and how you can take part in that and how basically over the next 72 hours or so, instead of earning say, couple of dollars with your CPU, you could be earning 10, 20, maybe even a couple hundred dollars per CPU that you're mining with. Also with GPU, not financial advice, just speculation, but it's pretty exciting stuff. So as always, here's the Voscoin exclusive on video guide on how to stay on the forefront of mining. We're gonna dive into it. I'm gonna show you how to mine with CPUs that includes Intel, that includes AMD Ryzen, which are freaking awesome at CPU mining. If you did not know, if you're watching this video, you're just a gamer or something, you're not a normal miner. This stuff's really easy to do. And if you're not using your gear for uh, mining as well as gaming, my opinion again, I think you're missing out. So let's go ahead and jump into it. But first, 10 seconds of the beautiful tales. Today's video is all about Varus and their hard fork. They are moving to a new mining algorithm. Varus Hash 2.1 is what it's called. If you don't know what Varus coin is, it's CPU mineable. That's how it all began. But then uh, GPUs became available for mining it, but they are not awesome at mining it, but they can certainly mine it. And then FPGA started dominating Varus mining. They moved to a 2.0 mining algorithm and now they're moving to a 2.1 Varus Hash mining algorithm. One of the main features of this is they're nerfing FPGAs to a certain degree the CPUs are going to get a little bit of a better performance here over the current uh, algorithm setup. So basically the short version is that uh, you know now is the time to shine with CPU mining. There's also no FPGA bitstreams out for Varus publicly yet. And what that means is that right now this is going to be the only hardware available for mining uh, Varus, which means you're going to get more, you're going to be a bigger piece of the pie. Brief background on Varus if you're unfamiliar, they're boasting 51% attack immunity through their 50% proof of work, 50% proof of state algorithm. They have privacy features enabled through a ZK Snark fork. They are a uh, unique implementation of it and they're trying to do a public blockchain as a service, PBOS, basically, uh, you know, encouraging people to build blockchains on their blockchain and enable auto merge mining and staking on. 15 blockchains on your PC. So there's a lot of stuff going on here, but today is not so much about the actual coin, but how to stay on the forefront of this mining. Again, just a little bit recap. When it comes to mining Varus right now, your CPU can mine it. Your CPU does make money. However, if you look at these stats, that's an FPGA. Right now, the hash altcoin black miners do very well on Varus. Depending on the miner, you know, they make up to $10 a day with the F1 Plus. And there's also a full FPGA card bitstream streams available for mining this but this is all going to change because they need new bit streams to be able to mine it on the new algorithm so again we're on the forefront over you know for the next you know couple weeks maybe at the most we'll see that cpus are the dominating their network hash rate one of the main things you're going to need here is a wallet they have a gui gui as well as a cli cli wallet you can choose whichever one you want to do i have both linked out in the video description along with everything we're talking about everything you need to get up to speed mining this so they've got builds for linux mac and windows or you can go with the gui gui interface agama they have their own fork of the komodo agama wallet it's the agama varus coin version and again this is a gui and they have builds out for linux mac and windows i'm doing this on a mac but i also have this on windows i just just downloaded it installed it and what you just saw me I went in there and I clicked a native coin launch which means it's gonna launch the whole blockchain 
And the reason you want to do that is because if you don't do that, then you'll be unable to stake the bears that you mine if you should choose to do so. I'll also show you where to buy and sell bears here a bit later in the video. Once you activate the wallet, you'll see it start activating the best chain and it'll get in sync with the blockchain. Mine's already in sync. Uh, for the most part, I have a couple blocks to download. Uh, otherwise, this may take you uh, several hours, depending how far behind you are. Just to keep that in mind, but that doesn't mean that you can't grab an address and get mining. Here you can see that the wallet has now activated and the blockchain is in sync. You can see my balance. And from here, you can mine directly from the wallet, but not recommended because it only solo mines. And you can also stake right here from the wallet all you have to do is literally just click start staking. As far as Varus ID, which I'll explain here in a second, you are able to do this from the GUI wallet as well as the Cly wallet. So again, you're gonna to wanna to come in here and grab your mining address. Why? Because you need somewhere to mine to to set up these miners. Otherwise, well, where are your coins gonna go? The other option is if you wanna mine directly to an exchange. The best exchange for Varus coin right now is altbit.com, previously digital price, they rebranded. I have a referral link for their uh, exchange, so if this video helped you in any way at all, please use the referral link. Stuff like that makes a big difference just in the longevity of the Voss coin mission. It is a good exchange so far. I have used it, I've deposited, I've bought, I've sold, and I've withdrawn BTC and other coins. When it comes to mining Varus right now, you have three options. There's two CPU miner builds out there, as well as a CC CPU miner build. Some people are saying that the NHEC miner is performing better. I've always had good results with that. And either way, the CC miner, uh, CPU miner build, and the NHEC miner, CPU miner build. Here's the key point here. The, the most important takeaway of this video is that they are gonna auto switch. So you can set them up right now and they will auto switch once, once the fork happens and that you will automatically be up to speed mining the new fork to blockchain and getting all those credited rewards, which are hopefully gonna be very high in comparison, but I haven't even explained why they're supposed to be higher. So basically Varus ID, they're implementing an ID platform on their blockchain. For example, you could just send coins directly to like at Bosscoin or Bosscoin at. The key thing here is that it costs 100 coins to acquire an ID, right? 100 coins, they're not burned. They're not sent to the, the some Varus dev fund. They are sent right into the block reward. So for every ID redeemed, there's gonna be plus 100 coins on that block reward. The current block reward on Varus for mining is 24 coins a block. So every ID is increasing the block reward by five times. To be clear, it's not five times every time, it's five times the original block reward. So if say five IDs are redeemed, that would be 500 coins on top of 24. That's wild compared to the static 24 current uh, you know, mining block reward. So again, like I said, if you want to mine with a CPU, you're going to be using the NHEC miner build or the CC miner CPU build. In addition to this, you can mine with GPUs. There's only a CUDA version that literally like just came out. It does not auto switch though, so don't be leaving this on and think it's just going to magically happen. If you want to be waiting there for this fork to happen and to clarify this fork's going to happen at 800,200 block, and the best time to reference when that's going to happen is to simply look at the block explorer. Right now from when I'm recording this, that's gonna be about 20 hours away. There's also a countdown here on luckpool.net, which is gonna be the pool we're mining to. That's a nice little reference point or you know, 18 hours. And so yeah, not very long. By the time you see this, it may only be a couple hours or have already happened, but doesn't mean that you still shouldn't try to jump on it and see what kind of additional awards you could potentially earn there. So right now I'm gonna remote into my Intel CPU mining rig and my Ryzen CPU mining rig. My Tri-Miner has a Ryzen 1700 and my Ghost PC has a uh, Intel 6700K. Looking at the hash rates, Ryzen's are always freaking awesome and this Intel is good for what it is. I'm getting almost 11 mega hash a second where the Ryzen not overclocked or anything. It's slowing down because I'm remoting into it. I'm using all 16 threads on it. You can see I'm getting about 17 mega hash a second. I'm gonna slow down for me right now. Some people report getting up to 25 mega hash a second um, on the Varus 2.0. The hash rates are gonna change slightly with the new algorithm 
system, but nothing too crazy there. Setting this up is the exact same on a Ryzen and Intel CPU. So I'm just gonna show you it, you know, one simple way here. All you're gonna do is just go into your browser. You know, for example, I'm using Chrome here and I'm gonna go to Varus Coin and Eckminer, link below in the video description. And you always wanna refresh. I mean, the link you load will simply be the freshest one. And that's probably gonna naturally be the best version. From there, I'm on a Windows PC, but again, this, ha this has builds for Linux, Linux uh, OS and also Mac OS here. So I'm gonna download that. I've already done that. So once that is downloaded, I'm gonna go to my downloads and you can see it right here. I will extract it, simply like extract all to desktop. I have a program called pzip and there's like built-in extractors. Anyway, that's the easy part of the tutorial. Once you do that, you will be met with this file. And from here, you simply just right click edit on the start file. And all you have to do is input this information here, whatever pool you want to mine, the port, your Varus coin address, your worker name, and how many threads on your CPU you want to utilize. The simple thing you can do here is you can just go to like specifications and that will tell you what you're dealing with. So I've got, a, again, an i7 6700K. You don't know how many threads on there? Simply Google it and you'll figure it out. So again, you know, I have 15 on here. There's not even 15 threads on the CPU. So if you just want to enable all, just you know, put in something like 20, 15, 30, and you'll enable all your CPUs in that way. I have a link to download this exact bat file in the video description below if you want to use it. And then just all you have to do is simply change out your uh, Varus coin address. Keep in mind when you're enabling all of your CPU threads to mine, you're not going to be doing anything else on this computer. You'll see this thing will slow down significantly. I'm trying to move the screen and it's all choppy here. And uh, yeah, so just understand if you're mining with all your threads, you're basically utilizing the entire part of your CPU, which is, you know, a integral part of your uh, computer here. You can mine with less CPUs and you'll be able to do other functions. Uh, you know, you could just mine with a couple, or I said CPUs, threads. You could just mine with a couple threads or half your threads or whatever you wanna do. But if it's just for mining, it makes the most sense to enable all of your threads here. There's also overclocking functions you can perform on your CPU, but we're not gonna cover that in today's video. If you wanna learn more about overclocking your CPU, please head over to the Voscoin Discord server. We have a CPU mining dedicated channel in it. And guys, that's really how easy and simple it is to get your computer mining that. The process is gonna be that pretty much the same on Mac and Linux, just a little bit different because it's a different operating system. You can head over to luckpool slash varus, you know, miner.html. I'll have a link out to mine. You can just put your address in or simply put your address here on luckpool and click go and it'll take you to your screen. From here, luckpool has been a good pool. We've been using them for years and they're working closely with the Varus team on this whole fork and pool implementations and everything else like that. So you'll get readouts of your worker their hash rates. You'll be able to see your immature earnings, which basically that just needs additional confirmations on the blockchain before it you know, just goes right to your balance. Once your balance adds up, Luckpool pays out several times a day. You can check their payouts tab and you can see, you know, here over the last 24 hours or so, they've had three payouts. In those payouts, you'll get all of your potential coins that you know have accumulated in your balance you don't get paid out on immature only on your balance here and then it moves over to your paid section if you want to look at other possible mining pools you can use mining pool stats dot stream slash varus coin and from here we can see zerg pool and 52 hash have a lot of hash rate but i believe that this is a largely a, a big uh, cpu farm and this has a lot of fpgas i believe um, i'm actually i'm confident that tomorrow when this fork happens you will see luck pool shoot to the top of this list because they are on the forefront of having this stuff ready for the fork and that's really it guys that's all you need to know to be ready for this fork to happen to be on the forefront of mining here to have the most potential rewards if you got nothing going on tomorrow i definitely recommend this if you're looking to chase the most profitability you want to get the most coins you think this may be an interesting project you want to build up your stockpile you just want to make a quick buck tomorrow whatever you want to do whatever motivates you you know basically right now is the time and even after tomorrow for the next couple weeks maybe a couple months or if this really takes off over the next year this is going to be an interesting and profitable coin to mine especially with cpus and there's not too many pieces of uh there's not too many projects that are honestly promising when it comes to cpu mining obviously we have monero and random x but this is not monero and random 
X. This is something else that you can put your hardware on that if you've been learning more about random X, you're more versed in CPU mining. You can take advantage of that and just uh, you know have some fun and get kind of get back to the basics of mining. It's stuff like this has really got me into mining back when uh, all my local friends you know got into it with me. We're mining. Unfortunately, the bear market killed most of them off, so in loving memory of my uh, old mining friends. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's just, it's fun to have something new and emerging, to have that high profitability potential ceiling there, and uh, just, you know, doing what you can to, to be flexible and to, you know, again, just, I keep saying this, but to be on the forefront of it. That's fun, that's what it's all about, in my opinion. So, as always guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to the Boss Coin YouTube channel, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment below, let me know what you liked, let me know what you didn't like, and I'll see y'all next time. I'll be home.